The difference between a website that looks like this and a website that looks like this is all about the libraries that you use. Today, we'll go over my top three React libraries to make beautiful websites regardless of your design experience. These days, if you can't beautifully convey your idea, you'll fall into the background noise of every other mediocre website. If you're not a great designer, don't worry. I'll let you in on a little secret. Neither are most people. The majority of great websites leverage libraries built by the pros to make their site look professional and polished. And I'm gonna show you my top three. By adding good asset libraries to your tool belt, you stand a better chance at effectively conveying your message and standing out in the crowd. Hi, I'm Dylan, a cloud engineer living in Oregon. I build websites every day for a living and I've used many, many different React libraries. Today, I'm gonna condense down years of trial and error and give you my top three to make beautiful websites. If you find this useful, drop a like, and if you haven't yet, consider subscribing. You'll probably like my other videos. Up first is Framer Motion. Just looking at the website, it speaks for itself. It's a library that makes very complex animations easy to implement. Clean animations are a really easy way to bring a wow factor to your site. They subconsciously let the user know, hey, I pay attention to detail so you can trust me. A big use case for using Framer Motion is to show information only when a user wants it. For instance, instead of throwing your whole article on a page, you might show a little card with a header, and when they click on it, it'll show a snippet, and then if they want more, they can click into the full page of the website. Seth Godin would call this permission marketing and argue it's the best way to earn the trust of your users. Next is Tailwind CSS. It's basically next generation bootstrap on steroids. Instead of writing CSS from scratch every project, Tailwind allows you to use their pre-made classes. This ensures consistency over your project. The thing I love most about them is that they have an accompanying UI library that you can copy and paste code from. Let me repeat that. You can literally copy and paste a professional looking React component into your website and then edit it using the Tailwind CSS classes. Quick tip, to edit way faster, add your classes directly into the Chrome Dev Console and then once it looks just right, copy and paste them into your code. And lastly is Undraw. It's not exactly React specific, but it's a treasure trove for making beautiful websites. It's a huge library of illustrations that you can customize and use for free. Did I mention it's free? If you watch my videos often, you'll recognize some of the illustrations because I use them all the time. And there you have it. If you use all three of these, you're well on your way to a beautiful React app. If your top three is different, share it in the comments so we can all learn together. If you're building a website, at some point, you're gonna have to start thinking about how you're gonna guide a user through it, and you'll find this video helpful. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.